Hey guys, LM7 here, doing another building tutorial. This time, uh, the set requested was the Imperial Viewing Starfighter, number 7915, part of the January wave of sets. So as always, we're going to build our peeps first. And here's one uh, we did in the Pokemons, but there's, what is it, R2, Q2, and our Imperial Pilot with his awesome new helmet. Okay, it's our peeps. And, you know, comes with a gun. So whoever requested it will have their name up here in the left-hand corner. But... Alright, let's get started. I'm going to start off by taking a 2x6 plate. And we're going to put this black piece, slopey piece, right there. And we're going to use two of these on each side. Just like that. So we have a boat looking thing. Next, we're going to take this large brown plate. I think it's a 2x12. And we're going to put it in there and connect everything like that. Now we're going to take a black 2x4, put it right there, and we're going to take this light gray 2x2 circle plate and put it right there. Alrighty. We're going to take our second 2x12 in brown. And we're going to put it on top of that black 2x4 we have. So we have this. Now we're going to flip it over. And we're going to take a 4x4 four four circle plate. And put it right there. And we're going to use another 2x4 black plate. Just like that. So we have this looking thing. Okay. So. Now we're going to take this triangle piece, this plate, triangle plate, and its inverse plate, and put it like that. Alright, now that we're done with that, we're going to go more towards the middle. We're going to take this black circle brick, 2 by 2 and we're going to put it right there, along with a 2 by 2 triangle piece. It's going to go right here. That's going to be the seat, if you didn't already know. Now we're going to take um, a 3x6 triangle and its inverse. And uh, put one right there. And one right there. And then we're going to use a 4x4 four four plate and put it right there. Okay. We're going to use another 2x2 two two brick, circle brick I mean. And we're going to put it right there. Do not use your clear one. And you're going to take a 2x8 plate. And you're going to put one right there. And you're going to need two of them, actually. Because one goes on the other side as well. So just like that. So, so far we have this looking thing. Alright. I love it when they throw random colors in the sets that you wouldn't use them with, but we're going to need three of these, one by two bricks with two technicals in it, and you're going to use two of them on this side, so like that, and your third one is going to go here, but now we're going to use a one by one brick with the technical in it in the color yellow. I don't know why they made it yellow, they could have easily made it black. Okay, then we're going to take this license plate piece is different than the other ones I've used so far. And we're going to flip it so the studs are on the upside and we're going to put it on the circle plate. I mean the circle brick. Now we're going to use a 1x6 brick and make it look asymmetrical by putting it like that. Okay. Now we're going to take two more. I mean this 2x4 triangle and its opposite. And we're going to put one right 
here. We're given some slope. We're actually putting some detail on it. No, that's not the right one. And one right here. Okay, we got some cool looking details going on now. Okay, we have a Technic mini step, so I have to put that down. We're going to need this yellow thing with the cross axle hole and our favorite little red Technic axle, size 2. I'm going to put it like this, and then we're going to take a second one of those yellow ones and do that. For the time being, this just lays right in there like that. Okay, so you just have that laying in there like that. Then we're going to take this cross axle. I believe it's a 5. And uh, we're going to put it like this. And, um, of course, we need a second one. Put like that. Now that this yellow piece isn't going to fall out and it spins. Okay, now we need this Technic pin or peg or whatever you want to call it, and you're going to put it right there. And you're going to take the biggest gear that comes in this set and you're going to put that gear right there. Okay, now you're going to finish off the seat with this chair piece and you're just going to put that right there and now you're going to use your smaller gear and you're going to put it there and you're going to make sure it matches up with the big one so that when you spin it all, both gears move now mine isn't spinning very well but uh, Whatever. Oh my god, I broke it. Okay, that's... Hang on. Is this, I don't think it's working right. Alright, okay, whatever. Wasting time doing that. Alright, now we're going to take a 2x6 plate. And we're just going to put that right there. And we're going to take a 4x6 plate. I'm going to put it over all of this. So now this can spin freely. Okay. Now we're going to take a 2x3 plate in dark gray. Oops, I hit the camera, sorry. And that's just going to go right there. And you're going to take this slope. It's a 1x3 brick slope. You're going to need two of those, and they're going to go right there. Now you're going to need your 3 by 12 triangle plates. Oh, I know. I knocked this off. That's what I did. And it's just going to go right there. Now your other one you put back on. And you take your inverse of that piece and you put it like that. Okay. Now you're going to take this piece which we've seen in the Bounty Hunter Gunship and the Genos in Starfighter. And we're just going to put that right there like that. That's it, folks. That's the front of the Starfighter. We're done. Now we're going to take two dark gray studs. And these studs are going to go right there and right there. Okay, and we're going to use the feet from the Clone Walker. And we're going to get rid of those studs. So. Just like that. And now these pieces. We're going to use two more of those 1 by 3 slopes. Here in the back. Of the V-wing. Just like that. Okay. Now we need two 1 by 4 plates. First time they're not gray that we've seen so far. And then we need two 2x3 two plates. And we just do that. Now we need a brown 2x3. Just gonna go right there. And we need uh, four of these hinge pieces. Which are going to go And then we need two more of those same pieces. Let's go right there. So we have a lot of hinge pieces going on. 
Now we need two L pieces with only three steps, not the ones we used in the echo base. So like that. And now we need a two by four plate, which is just gonna go right there. And we need a two by two flat tile circle piece, which is gonna just go right there. Now stickers are already applied. Okay, now we're going to build the engines, which is relatively simple to build the engines. You take a 2x4 plate, flip it like this, you take two 2x2 two two circle bricks, and then you take two uh, trans green radar dishes, and there you have an effective looking engine for a small starfighter. And then you just clip that right on to there. So there you get your engines. Now it's telling me to put the pilot in, but I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. Oh, because we're pretty much done then. Except for the wings. So we're going to want to take this clear 2x2 two two circle, and this is going to be our stand, which you just put right there. And it's going to be our stand. And then it says to put the windshield piece on, but we're going to do that last. Okay. Now we're going to build the pieces that go right here, the little flaps. So you need a 1x6, this hinge piece, you need a new, this one, a new 2x4 flat tile, and you're going to put it like that. Then you're going to take another one of these little triangle pieces which we used, and you're going to drop it. You're going to drop it first. And you're going to take this circular piece, which has studs on the inside, and you're going to put it like that. And then you just put it on those hinges right there. Whoop we do. And then you can fold that in. But we're going to flip it like this. Alright. So we're going to build the same thing. But, you know, the other way. With all the same pieces. those built. Now it says we need this Technic L-shaped piece which just simply goes like this and it says a green arrow to this direction. It says do not put it like this. This direction. And then we need uh, this small round Technic piece. Does it go on the other side? I don't even think we have another one of those pieces, so no, it doesn't. All right, now we're going to build the wings, which says times two. So we need uh, this four by four circle brick and two of these license plate pieces. So we're just going to build that. Then we need a two by two yellow plate, which I think is kind of cool to put random yellow in there. And these hinge pieces, which we used before, we need two of them. Okay, and then we're going to take a flat 4x4 four four circle plate, and we're going to put it on top. Now we need two dark gray studs, and they're going to go right there and here, and then two black cones, which are going to be the guns. Now we need uh, this sticker piece, a uh, two by two circle plate, I mean tile. Now we need these pieces, which can be used for chairs or whatever. And you're going to put two of them right there. And this triangle piece, you're going to flip it backwards. So the slope is on the back. Okay. And we're going to want to take a flat. 2x2 two two plate, circle, put it right there. Uh, next we're going to want to take uh, four of these hinge pieces. And do that, 
And then we're going to just take this triangle piece, put that on. That's one wing. I don't want to do it again. Or wing number two. And then it says to put the wings on like so. You just clip the wings on. Okay, now we just got to build one more wing real fast. In under five minutes. So let's see if I can do it by memory. This. License plate pieces. Two by two plate. Uh, these hinge pieces. This circle plate. Sticker piece. Other circle piece goes on the back. Um, two black studs. And then two black cones. And then our triangle pieces. And then the square piece. Weird sloping member face backwards. And then these hinge pieces. We're going to want four of them. And then our wings just don't go on like that. They go on the opposite way. And uh, that was like a minute I built that wing. And then you just pop that on. Fold the wings to however you like it. When I have mine displayed on my shelf, I fold these into the back. But we'll just leave those out for now. And then lastly, you take your cockpit and you just clip that on and fold it down. And all good it works. So, there we have the B-Wing. Nice set, I always liked it. And it's cheap, too. Oops. Alright. That's the uh, Imperial V-Wing. Um, next might be the V-19, if I feel lucky. No, 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 my bad, my bad. Someone requested the Slave 1. That's right. 8097 Slave 1 is next. Mm, that's about it. Thanks for watching.